Here is your latest end time news from Tradcat Night. Keep your eye on Rio, ladies and gentlemen. We could have another potential quote-unquote terrorist attack. Pro-Al-Qaeda group calls for targeting of the Olympics and specifically emphasizes attacks on the United States, France, Israel, and UK athletes. Now, this being reported upon by Lisa Daftari from the Foreign Desk News. It's being circulated worldwide. Again, these certain pro-Al-Qaeda jihadis, we know who's behind this particular group, who's funding them, should not come to any surprise. In a list published on social media, jihadis are advised to target American, British, French, and Israeli athletes with the notion that one small knife attack against uh, Americans in these places will have a bigger media effect than any other uh, uh, attacks elsewhere, inshallah. Your chance to take part in the global jihad is here. Your chance to be a martyr is here, these jihadis said, citing the easy process of obtaining visas to travel uh, to Brazil. From amongst the worst enemies, the most famous enemies for general Muslims is to attack Israelis. Again, I point out <clears throat> very often Albert Pike, when he spoke about World War III, uh, it was necessary to get the propaganda going between Islam, the Mus Muslims, and uh, the Israelis. It's very much necessary. So look for a massive false flag to occur somewhere in the Middle East very soon to kickstart World War III. And we've seen in past uh, Summer Olympics, uh, the Summer Olympics of 1972, where certain members of the Israeli Olympic team were taken hostage uh, by certain groups. So we've already had precedents for uh, false flag operations during the Olympics. Let's see how this pans out. We just recently had the most recent attack in uh, Germany. Uh, the United States been somewhat quiet for the past few days. But again, in this summer of chaos, this summer of blood, we're escalating towards all-out revolution re once the economic collapse occurs. Make sure, ladies and gentlemen, you subscribe to Tradcat Night for all the latest news, videos, information, and radio shows. Visit tradcatnight.blogspot.com. Make sure you bookmark us. If you are a website owner, make sure you add us. If you want to add us to your portfolio. We are a top 40,000 website in the world. We are by far the most comprehensive and followed traditional Catholic website available worldwide. My Twitter account was blocked for three days. I'll get into this on my radio show. Nearly uh, ending the Tradcat Night Apostolate. If you will, I was going to go back into my book. I'll get into this specifically. But the Twitter news, uh, the, my Twitter account is now up. I'll get into the specifics on that. Along the right-hand side, there is uh, not only the news feed, but the new poll question is up. Make sure you spend time in the Tradcat Night blog archive. About 4,000 blogs now. You can visit our sister site, orderoftheeagle.wordpress.com. If you have news tips, articles, the latest information, your own videos, your own blogs you'd like to see on Tradcat Night, send them to me at Apostle of Mary at hotmail.com for review. You can also follow me on Facebook, search Eric Gajewski, look for the devil headed eagle, and simply hit follow. Find me on Twitter, search Tradcat Night. Again, spend 15 minutes a day on Tradcat Night, tons of information flowing through as we head closer to the fruition of the third secret of Fatima. And lastly, I need financial assistance in what little time we do have left to keep penetrating more and more into the mainstream as best as we can. So continue to donate. If you haven't donated already, I encourage you to do so and do so consistently because we do need that help. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe and God bless.